We're Megan and Anna, a multicultural couple who live in New Zealand but love to travel to new places. We are currently about to travel to the beautiful South America for four weeks, where we get to explore some of the most magical places, including Argentina, Chile and Brazil. We can't wait to show you this truly beautiful place, from food to culture and landscapes. On that note, let's go to South America. here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now, Sao Paulo is actually one of the biggest cities in Brazil and it has a population size of around 12.2 million just inside the city center. Now, me coming from New Zealand, we have 5 million. Inside the city center, 12.2 million. Well, so because it's a very big city, it's hard to show everything around, it's very spread, but I chose two places in the center that I think is gonna be very interesting. Funny enough, I haven't been in that, but I heard amazing things. So we're gonna to go to Sat Cathedral. So that's the main church on the main square. And it's one of the oldest in here since the Portuguese came to colonize us in Faro Santander. This is the first bank of Sao Paulo, one of the highest buildings. And from there, you can see everything. Megan loves to see things from up high. So I'm sure she's gonna enjoy it a lot because it's such a big city, but I haven't seen how big the city is. So when you go high, you can see how big the city is, but we are gonna be catching the Metro as well, which is gonna be a very interesting experience. I've heard that the Metro is very, very busy, but Remember, we are excited. 12 point million, uh -huh. most of them get Metro. On that note guys, let's get going and we'll see you there. So we got here in one of the most important buildings in Sao Paulo. Nowadays it's called Faro Santander, before it was called Bernas Palm. It's a very important building, probably one of the main buildings on history. Nowadays it's open for visits. So over here you can see the size of the building. We're going to go to all the floors that can be explored. from the top to the bottom and I'm so excited for that view here but we have expositions in every floor. The lady said we've got it to stop here and in each floor should have someone to tell us what to do. So we've just come to the top level 26. Now this gives you the most amazing view over Sao Paulo. Now it actually has some things in English as well. So you can like get kind of like a little bit of information around Sao Paulo, which is super cool, but the views from up here are amazing. Now it does cost 30 reais. So it's around like $10 New Zealand dollars. So it's so worth it as well.
sides to this building that you can explore. So obviously you get different perspectives of like how big the city is and it's absolutely massive. So just a few like fun facts around Sao Paulo is actually the biggest city in Brazil and then also it holds around 12.2 million people. Now me coming from New Zealand, we have 5 million in the whole of New Zealand. Now that's just 12.2 in the city center of Sao Paulo. So from up here, you can actually see how big the city is. And what's also very, very cool is it actually has a cafe on site so you can have a coffee and enjoy the beautiful views around you here. I definitely think it's worth a visit. It is so nice. I'm loving it up here. saying before they have expositions on each floor so this is one of the expositions behind me here look how cool so it's kind of like all of these mirrors on the side here and it gives the illusion of like oh my god where am I kind of like that spatial awareness it is so cool so we're gonna keep making our way down to see all of them Positions from new artists and we are back to the fifth floor to see the history of that building. The floor we are now used to be the presidential suite. Ooh. So where all the important people that run that big business have worked before, we're gonna go through the rooms. on the bank now on the third floor they show us how the bank used to work many many years ago here says so between the 40s and the 50s so when you can see every state how people would get greeting in the banks at least in Brazil the craziest part is to think you know that they used to wear use books to get everyone's account. Can you imagine that? Like getting a control of that with not one computer. So we're just finishing up here in Faro Santander. Now I have to say it was such a cool experience. Like it's definitely, definitely worth it. You can at least spend like a couple of hours here, but now we're gonna be heading over to the most beautiful church in Sao Paulo and the most important one. So we'll see you guys there. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us more than you think. Also, don't be shy to leave us a comment as we always love hearing from you. Also, don't forget to check out some of our other videos, including a must-do day trip to the stunning Caminito in Buenos Aires and our first time in Santiago, Chile. Now, back to the video. favorite places in Sao Paulo. It's called Padaria Maraja and they have a very good typical food. I ordered chicken parmigiana and we are both gonna share because the portions here are huge. It's nothing really typical of Brazil but it's typical flavor from them if that makes sense and I so wanted to dive in oh my god. 
So one thing in Brazil is that all of the meals come with rice and beans. So that's like a real typical thing here in Brazil. So with every meal, it's always chips, rice and beans. And then this time we've got the parmigiana. And this is Anna's favorite meal, so I'm very excited to try with her. with our lunch and I have to say it was so so good but I do think that one thing that is very very strange is that they have little cue cards and it has like a little barcode on so before you go into the restaurant you have to grab like a little kind of like card with a cue get everything that you want and then you can move on and then you pay for it as you leave I think it's very very different and it's very very good going to a very important monument of Sao Paulo as well. It's right on the city center and it's one of the first and most important churches called Cathedral C. Inside we're going to be able to do a tour that we're going to go down on the um, underground. We're going to go into the towers to see the bells and all that and it's very very I mean I haven't been there but everyone says we should so thanks Megan to make me do it. church and we're about to start our tour now I'm super super excited because as you walk in it is just so beautiful the tour should take around an hour and a half to two hours but let's go here underground to this like underground basement part and wow it is absolutely stunning uh, down here it's kind of like this beautiful kind of brick roof with these beautiful chandeliers and the information like the tour she is doing in half English half Portuguese which is really really good but it's just stunning you don't realize how big the church is until you come underground and you see everything it's just wow called Se. Now it's nice to actually have these views because Se itself is actually quite dangerous. There's lots of like um, kind of homeless people around and lots of people hanging out on the steps and stuff so you do need to be a little bit careful but we're very lucky to get those views but we are about to head up to the bells as well which I'm very excited about. <laughs>
Wow, so just when you think we're going high enough, we keep going higher and higher and the views just keep getting better and better. This is just such good value for money. So one ticket cost us 60 reais, it's around 20 New Zealand dollars, but it's currently taking around two hours for the tour and you go every place in the church itself. It is just so worth it and highly, highly recommended. So that is the end of today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed us taking you around San Paolo city centre. Now we have had the best day ever. Make sure you stay tuned because we've got lots more things planned in Brazil. On that note guys, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.